Good morning and welcome to the morning edition here at Daryl Lorette Cafe. I'm your host Daryl Lorette. Well as usual I just came from the kitchen. I just fixed myself a big bowl of oatmeal with two chopped bananas and today I have a cup of green tea. So pull up a chair and join me and we'll have breakfast together. Okay then, I'm hungry so I'm going to dig in. Yum. Well, yesterday, well, I did, um, let's see, it's raining outside right now. Actually, it's been raining all night. And um, yesterday, I was out in the morning to do my laundry, took my camera with me, but uh, oh, I took some photos at the laundromat, <laughs> more photos of the laundromat, they're up on Flickr and Facebook if you want to see them, anyway, but I couldn't take any photos outside because it was just too dark in the morning because the sun, even though it did come up, it had a lot of clouds, sort of, um, you have the sun, right? You know where the sun comes up in the east? There was a lot of cloud formations right there on that uh, horizon. And so the sun had to get over those clouds in order to shine. So it was kind of dark in the morning because because of the clouds in the sky. They were like not over your head. They were like on the, on the horizon. Preventing the sun from shining and, and giving you an adequate amount of light so you can take some pictures in the morning because right now it's light enough in the morning that you can take pictures at around say 7 30 8 o'clock but if you get some clouds there in that horizon that are blocking the sun which is trying to come up then you can't take any pictures because uh, at least not with my camera because it's too dark and you can't get that natural light that uh, I like to get so I was only able to take, uh, I took like 10 photos at the laundromat and I uploaded them to Flickr and Facebook and that was pretty much it. And after that I just spent the day uh, indoors uh, blogging and stuff like that and that's pretty much all I did yesterday. So, and today, well, today looks like we got some rain and uh, I don't know how long that's going to last. Well, let's check... Uh, it's right now the temperature is 46 46 degrees with light rain shower so you got uh, currently it's 46 degrees with a light rain hmm. so anyway we don't know how long that's going to last but uh, hopefully uh, it'll clear up sometime today or yeah it's got to clear up at least sometimes today some sometimes sometime It'll probably clear up sometime today, so even if it's later on today, it doesn't matter, you know. Anyway, back to the oatmeal. You know, I haven't had bacon and eggs for so long, I wouldn't mind having an old-fashioned English breakfast. Bacon and eggs and sausage and toast and hash browns. That wouldn't that be nice? Well, I may not talk anymore right now because my mind just went blank and uh, it's been pretty boring for the last 24 hours so uh, I'm just going to sit here and eat my oatmeal. <laughs> oh yeah, you got to love these videos, man. Black and white and boring as hell. You know, I could probably buy a, a video camera anytime I want right now. But uh, 
for some reason I don't feel ready. You know, I don't feel ready for a video camera. I still want to like, you know, explore the uh, still photography. You might say there's still lots of photos to take. Lots of pictures to take. Yeah. One thing I want to do, which I've been wanting to do for a very long time, is to literally document my arrival here in Hamilton over 10 years ago via uh, photographs. I want to like go to the bus station, take a picture of the bus station, and literally progressively walk exactly where I walked after I left the bus station and take pictures all along the way, you know, until I get where I ended up and spent literally five days camping. I'll take pictures of that area and, uh, you know, share it on the internet. Unfortunately, where I, uh, I, I spent, uh, I spent uh, two weeks at a homeless shelter, that's still there, but they, uh, they fixed it up and they uh, added on to it, so it's not the same as it was. Probably get some pictures of that. But the, the rooming house where I, uh, where I moved into, it burnt down a few years ago. Actually, I think it was shortly after, the year after I moved in here to this apartment, it burnt down, so I can't take any pictures of that. I'll, I'll take a picture of the blank lot that's there or whatever. There was a, last time I was up there, there was like a fence, and it was just an an empty lot, because in the back of the building was the parking lot, and literally an empty lot or a parking lot, for uh, the other buildings that were in the back there. Oh, pardon me. So you know I'll have to like. Uh, you know, I can take pictures of, you know, those areas, but uh, they've changed over the past 10 years. So it'll be just uh, basically taking pictures of um, the areas where I uh, once lived and, and and walked through and whatnot and just trying to find, uh, you know, interesting uh, buildings and stuff like that. Oi! Well, this Saturday, oddly enough, my grandmother's birthday is this Saturday. She would have been, oi, she was born in 1913, so I can't even think about that right now. I can't figure it, I can't do any math in my head right now, but uh, it never really dawned on me, but she actually shared the same uh, birthday as Bruce Lee. And it's going to be his 70th birthday this Saturday. And I just got a, an email from um, his daughter, Shannon Lee, from uh, the BruceLee.com website that I signed up for their newsletter. And they're celebrating the 70th birthday, Bruce Lee 70th birthday, by uh, they issued out, um, they issued these, um, these um, I think one time, Issues. Uh, uh, they're going to do a, a like a matching T-shirt and I think maybe a hoodie or something like that with uh, uh, you know the Bruce Lee picture of Bruce Lee and uh, f you know his birth date and you know 19, 1940 to 19, 1940 to 2010. So yeah, I think it was a T-shirt and something else. I can't remember. But it's supposed to be uh, some sort of limited, limited edition sort of deal. I don't know how many T-shirts. It was like they were going to make seventy, and you know, they're going to only make seventy. My God, they're going to sell pretty quick. Some sort of marketing ploy.
to my grandmother, she would have been, she was still alive, she would have been 97 on Saturday. Bruce Lee would have been 70. So it's funny, I never, I don't think, I never really consciously thought about it, but my grandmother and Bruce Lee have the same birthday, November the 20th. My mother's birthday is on November the 8th. My younger sister's birthday is on the 30th. So 10 days after my grandmother was born, my, my sister was born back in 1968. And she'll be, my sister will be 42, I think. Hmm. We're like exactly three and a half years apart. Because my birthday is May 30th, and hers is November 30th, and that's six months exactly. And I was born in 65, and she was born in 68, and that's exactly three and a half years. Well, it looks like we're running out of time again. So, I still have lots of oatmeal to eat, and uh, so I'm going to do that and let you go. And drink my tea, I haven't even touched that. So until next time, this is Daryl Lorette here at Daryl Lorette Cafe, wishing you a good Wednesday. We'll see you again. Bye for now.